Hi, Rob Sutton here. Today, we're talking about a little house. My grandson, Johnny, and I and Rosalind are building a little house. Let me show you. This is so far one of our walls, the other side of the wall. That's what you're looking at right now. Okay, Johnny, what are these walls made out of? Can you tell all the people? Just some crates. That's all. Where did we get these crates? Actually, they're pallets. Yeah, it's under construction. We got these pallets. There's a place down a few blocks from uh, where we live where people put pallets that they don't want and then we can get them for free. So we got these pallets connected together. Johnny and Ross and I, we put these uh, metal plates and screws. We're going to put concrete down here to give it some extra strength. That way it doesn't go falling down. We may skip the concrete. Sorry, Johnny. We also got this, makes it a little taller, that way we can stand up. Yeah, we're building this pony wall, on the, putting it on a retaining wall on the back, out as two by threes. Here's the grandkids and their dad helping to build the pony wall. Both Johnny and Rosalind are getting pretty good with hammers, I just don't let them use my saw. I'm not brave enough for that yet. And another pony wall, two by threes on the front. It's elevated two feet above the pallets and two feet above the retaining wall. And we're in the process right now of putting the rafters on. Now, so let's stop the video and work on measuring our rafters. Okay, guys? Bye. Bye. Right now, we got Roslyn numbering our rafters. So we get them in the right order. We got rafter one, two, three, and four. And we're going to measure the length, mark them, and then we'll know where they go. Right, guys? Yeah, right. We got the rafters in position. You can see a number one here, and you see the line that we struck in line with this uh, little pony stud. And then on the other end, we struck a line. So we have the length of the rafter, and so we know which is which. I had Roslyn put a number one on the rafter. There we go, a number one, and our rafter's number one on that end right there. And we did that on all four, so we're ready to cut them off and install them. It's time to trim the rafters. Here we got number one in position, and we have the saw adjusted. Here we go. And here's the other end. I have the saw up positioned. It's been a while since we filmed, but as you can see, we got all the rafters cut and put up, and then we uh, put a roof. It's a tarp we got at uh, Harbor Freight, 10 by 12. So we have a roof, and now we've got some uh, two by fours from some crates we disassembled, cut them down to two by threes. And we're gonna build a little wall here, half wall, maybe put a little shelf so the grandkids can play store or play drive-in and maybe have a door on this end. So, to be continued. This update, we got the little end wall put up. We used the two by fours from the crates, cut them down to two by threes. And you see, we got it installed and then we got a piece of the plywood decking from one of the crates for a wall. Next step is to get the kids and decide how they want this shelf trimmed put it right up here they want to play like they're a fast food drive-through type establishment and build the door and then that's probably going to be it for the little house actually we did not attach the shelf or build the door yet here's how it looked at the end of the summer we may add the shelf and door next summer when the grandkids return for their visit or we may leave the pallet playhouse as is and build something else Although Rosalind is talking about turning the Pallet Playhouse into her art studio, so the Playhouse may need some additional construction and remodeling next summer after all. Good luck on your Pallet Playhouse if you decide to build one. To view more of my videos, click here. To be notified when I release a new video, click here to subscribe to my channel.